this is where we want to get to. So the ketone monitor that Ellen is using is going to be detecting beta hydroxybutyrate. So the urine strips, breath monitors are wasted ketones, which we see in the beginning. Then we're super strict, and then these start reading lower readings, and we think that we're doing something wrong. But all this shows is an upregulation of the monocarboxylate transporters and the enzymes involved with utilizing the ketones. So this basically means we're becoming more efficient. So what we see then is an increase in beta hydroxybutyrate in the blood, which is what you're testing. So you're seeing levels in the blood. So 0.7 in the blood. Fantastic. Over time, this will also start to drop. This will get. This will be become as low as 0.2, maybe even 0.1. Uh, it doesn't mean that you're not in a ketogenic state. It means that the body has upregulated the pathways and the enzyme to such to such a degree that you're utilizing them super efficiently. So there's less in circulation, um, which is fantastic. So if I test now, I would probably show zero, 0.1, 0.2 at best. Um, the highest that I've read in recent years is probably 0.4. So. My point to this, Anna, is don't get too caught up in, in chasing ketone levels. Now, there are certain circumstances in which higher levels of ketones can be beneficial. So um, athletic performance. So it's, you know, some studies have shown that higher ketones uh, being available in the blood can allow us to perform better. Um, if we suffer with uh, or fighting cancer, for example, um, higher levels of ketones may be more beneficial. Um, now, I've, I've worked with, with clients on a high-fat ketogenic lifestyle and a strict carnivore, which was low-fat. Both have seen resolution of cancers. Um, so I can't say that one trumps the other, but th there's lots of research to suggest that higher ketones from the fat that we consume may be more beneficial if we are trying to fight things like cancer. Um, if we have hormonal issues, then maybe we want higher fat and therefore higher ketones. But normally, but for the majority of us, just living the lifestyle and producing ketones is perfect. We don't need to chase. So we, we don't need to chase therapeutic ranges and and, um, uh, and and beyond in regards to, you know, unless we're fighting cancer, obviously, then we, yeah. we want to aim for higher levels. But don't be obsessed. You know, it's fantastic to to track and to learn how the body works and is affected by ketones. But stress itself will lower the reading. So if you be, if you begin to become stressed over your ketone readings, um, cortisol is going to have a negative impact on, on your ketones, um, an important impact. Cortisol is is uh, an incredible thing within the body, but it can, it can affect, it's essential for us being carnivore, but it can affect ketone readings massively. 